Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. So I have taken a few weeks off for reasons I don't really want to get into, but the most important thing is that I'm back now and I'm ready to watch more American Horror Story. Unfortunately, in the time that I kind of took a break, American Horror Story got taken off of Netflix, so love that. Thankfully, I do have access to Hulu, which is where you can stream it. But anyways, we are continuing with season three today and we're on episode two and it's called Boy Parts really couldn't tell you what that means but we're sure gonna find out so anyways i'm really excited to get back into it so let's start watching got a lot of skinning to do before sundown now I'm come to papa baby i feel like they're gonna die oh okay maybe not how can we help you young lady oh hey not all dead I mean, I knew. Something was not right with their intro. Oh, I just love her so much. My God. Get over it already. He spun his- That's literally so mean. No, that's bullshit. He wasn't like that. Those guys were his frat brothers. It's guilt by association. I mean, that's kind of fair, but I don't think it's fair of her to assume that every single frat guy in that frat would have done what that group of guys did to her. Listen up, he's pity pet. Why is she doing all of this? I'm sure we'll find out, but. Jesus, woman, it's a cell phone, all right? Like she knows what that is. And you better make it worth my while. She could literally just spit out what she put in her mouth. It's not like anything's like holding it there. The chicken and I'll be done here. Look, pencil dick, I'm not stupid, okay? What an insult. <laughs> Ugh. It's still a very cool ability, but oh my god. I'm part of your tribe. Is this where we all sing Kumbaya? Bitch, I will eat hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I really don't want to mess with Queenie. Like, she can cause you so much harm. What's this about? We'd like to have a word with two of you girls. Oh, no. Maybe whatever happened in that room was upsetting. Yeah, it sure was. We just met him the night before. He seemed nice. He died right after you left. Hmm. Shame. And I killed that asshole in the hospital. I, I power stew her witches. I'm sorry. Girl, what is she doing? No! No, enough lying! It's over! Everyone here is a witch. I'm so sorry. Please don't send us to jail. That went really poorly. And I'm gonna turn your brains to scrambled eggs. Oh my god. Fiona is so powerful. Like, I know she's the supreme, but oh my god. Just, yeah, please do it. Please don't turn your brains into scrambled eggs. We're not gonna find any evidence that we messed with the bus because we didn't mess with the bus. Yeah, exactly. You could just be like, no, I didn't mess with the wheels. But they knew so much already. I couldn't toast a piece of bread with the heat they were putting on you. Yeah, she cracked so fast under pressure. You're emotional, you care what people think. A teenager caring what people think? That's a novel concept. The only thing you have to be afraid of I mean, you don't have to tell me twice. I was supposed to play a cat burglar in this movie once. Wow, I would have loved to see that movie. I know what you did for me, dealing with that asshole. So I'm gonna return the favor. It's kind of nice, in a twisted way. Oh no. I would pass out if I saw that, oh my god. No, don't! <gasps> Tragedy. I see. Potential. Well, that's because you're a little twisted too. All we have to do recipe. It's really not that simple, though. She goes through hell, and it doesn't even work. We've been at this for a year. Aw, I didn't know she had a man's. I should be able to have a baby, just like any other woman. Ugh. I know it's horrible, but a lot of women... That hurts me to hear. One thing I'll give my daughter. She can fry up a chicken leg. The one thing you'll give her. How nice of you. You probably don't need to eat being immortal. Being immortal sounds terrible. You think you and this rabble can frighten me? Okay, well, you should be afraid. Where's my family? Return them to me. They never left. Oh, God, are they hanging? <laughs> Listen, I don't know why a lot of graphic things bother me, but people hanging in TV shows and movies really just disturbs me. I couldn't tell you why. I mean, it's disturbing, but I don't know why that over other things is like the worst thing to me. I give to you, Madame LaLaurie, was life everlasting. 
I mean, that's so iconic. It's like, you deserve this. Like, you were doing really messed up things. I don't feel bad for you at all. To never reunite with loved ones in the realm beyond, but instead, to be alone. What a great punishment. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't be. I don't like things being ripped. I don't like things being sewn on body parts. I don't like any of it. I feel like this is so dangerous. You guys don't practice spells like this ever, and you're gonna start now? Sounds like a good idea. What is happening? Sanctifies this unholy union. Did we just marry the devil? Because I don't know if I'm down with that. <laughs> I don't know if I would be either. Well, that was the best. <laughs> I guess we're just not powerful enough. He's gonna like pop up or something and scare the crap out of me. Hey, I'll, I'll meet you in the car. I, I left my phone in here somewhere. Hurry up. No, she didn't. What is she gonna do? Shit. Tough luck, bitch. Don't kiss him. Oh, she did it. Who's there? Oh, I thought he was gonna pull a gun. Instead, just a flashlight. What the hell are you doing here? Well, he's back. Are you happy? All right, you all go home too. I'll finish this one myself. Please do. I don't know if there's a feud between those two. I want them to be on the same side, but I feel like Jessica Lange's characters are always so unpredictable and usually not good. Stop! Stop it! I don't like it! Oh, she knows about Madame LaLaurie. You think too well. It's bothering- Are you setting her free for real? Get out of my way, slave. Who you calling slave, bitch? Yo, who is this? Uh, you're just gonna let that happen? Just like I know exactly what you are, which I can smell the stink of it on you. Yeah, they're not gonna get along. All they have to do to get their wishes granted was come down here and get their hair braided. She does deserve to get punched, I'm sorry. I want what you have. Whatever it is that has kept you young. Oh, right, of course, because the first episode was a big focal point for her. I mean, maybe in another century, you could have two shithole salons. She's so mean. Oh, my God. I need to concentrate. Just give me 20 minutes, okay? <sighs> Whatever it takes. I don't trust him. Something's off with him, right? He's weird, or is he an actual supportive husband that we love? Very interesting that he knows that she's a witch because it doesn't seem like any of the other girls have people that know, or significant others, I guess. I guess their family knows. Oh. I don't love this, I'm not gonna lie to you. And this is not, this isn't it for me. Oh, that is some powerful sex, okay. Kyle! He, ugh, this just like, I don't. Oh, we tried to put you together the best we could and then we. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, maybe it would have been better if you stayed dead. I don't know, but I couldn't forget. No, we know. Oh, hey, girl. Turn around. Make a ride. What do you mean? What's going on? I really don't remember any of this. Power of resurgence. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Something was calling to me. I knew I had to follow. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Stevie Nicks is my hero. That's Stevie Nicks from American Idol? From American Idol. Stevie Nicks. The white witch. I love that. They're like, Stevie Nicks, yeah, she's a witch. Doesn't it just penetrate your soul? I don't love using the word penetrate. <laughs> Just for anything. Oh, you can stay here with me. I'll hail him. <laughs> oh. Hey, you come back, right? <laughs> Why is Misty Day giving me weird vibes? I thought she was amazing and I don't know. Maybe she still is. Maybe she's just lonely. I just don't know why she's being kind of creepy. <laughs> you ain't never gonna believe who's back. Oh, God. <laughs> 
don't love that either. There's a lot of weird storylines going on in this season. You're not remembered fondly, but I guess that beats not being remembered at all. Mm. You can speak for yourself. You've got a mean streak wider than your backside or a sickness. Oh my God. Of the hundreds of things I have read about you are true, then you deserved every minute down there under all that dirt. Okay, good. I'm glad she is against her on that. Hung him in a straight line right up there. Well, do you remember what you did? I don't care what kind of monster anybody says I am. I love my girls my own way. Yeah, when you have to say that, you're a monster, yeah. From the moment she came out of my belly, she was ashamed to me. She had the face of a damn hippo. Oh my God. But I you're saying that about your own child. At least in death, you can't disappoint the ones you love. Damn. Deep. But you run away again, and it's back in the box for you. Understand? Yes, ma'am. I kind of love that she is under Fiona's orders. Also, can we get her into something more modern? I'm not really understanding her staying in that tragic outfit. Okay, so that was episode two of Coven, and I liked it a lot. Like I said in this episode while I was watching, I have seen this show, this season, I mean, as a whole, but I remember only very small parts of it. And this episode, I swear to you, I don't think I remembered a single thing. I know that Kyle came back, but I didn't think that was in this episode. I thought it was like a few episodes down. And I know that there's like kind of a complicated storyline with him and Madison and Zoe and whatever. But really besides that happening, and again, like I said, I didn't know that was happening in this episode and I didn't remember how exactly it went down. I didn't remember a single thing from this episode. I'm thinking that every episode I watch, I'm probably going to feel that way. I love Misty Day, I really do. I was just really confused by how she was acting towards Zoe in this episode, just thinking about the character. I hope it's just because she's lonely and she really wants like friends and companionship and to connect with other witches because she was like, you'll come back, right? It was just a little creepy the way she was kind of going about it. So I hope that it's just because she's lonely and she just wants friendship with people like her. I didn't remember Cordelia even having a husband and the fact that he knows about her powers and is trying these types of rituals with her or what are they called? Is it not a ritual? What? Spells? Hello? Just the fact that he's like open to doing that is kind of cool but again I feel like he's not that major in this season because I don't remember him at all so I don't know we'll see what happens there but he gives me kind of weird vibes I don't know if I trust him fully either he's a really great loving supportive husband or something's gonna go wrong <laughs> but anyways guys that is all I have for you today as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time for another video